Look at them up there. Just plotting. Pick a name moment. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Road to Elite Smash. And last time, we got in Meta Knight, the Wicked Winged Warrior who was able to get a undefeated Elite Smash run without losing a single game. And with Meta Knight in Elite Smash, we have just five more characters until our Road to Elite Smash is complete. So, we're going to be finishing up a certain series today where we have one of two characters in. And that is, of course, is the Final Fantasy series with Sephiroth already in. So we're going to be using Cloud Strife today to finish off the Final Fantasy series in our Road to Elite Smash. So let's go ahead and cover some of our alts that we have in store. Of course, my favorite one is the Advent Children alt that I think just looks really cool on Cloud. And of course, with that really cool design, we're bound to pick up some really cool KOs. Alright, looks like we have the Aegis up first, Pyra and Mithra, another sword-wheeling characters, two of them in fact, so let's go ahead and show off Cloud's moveset. So, first off is his neutral beam, Blade Beam, which requires a green-like projectile that can do some damage from far away. Alright, so we got water down for that lightning buster from Mithra, so we're gonna unfortunately okay. die really early. The problem with Cloud is he doesn't have that good of a recovery at base, but as you see, we're charging his down B, that limit charge, going to be coming in it handy a lot later and his forward air really really good his f smash three separate hits really powerful as well and Mithra now dying in early death at 67 percent so it's even once again and we have that limit charged up and i'll show you a little bit of what that limit does so with limit all right let's see if i can get this out earlier so let me show you a little bit more about limit as we get that nice forward air all right shield against that f and get a nice down smash off all right do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head that brutal up smash to bring the mithra to her last stop as another limit charge again so let's explain a little more about what limit actually does it up his speed and gives him one powerful attack on any of the specials whether it be neutral side beat or up beat as we managed to recover there from a really deep height which makes it good all right it looks like mithra is unfortunately going to die one to hit him with that down air down air does spike along with forward air and the landing hit of up beat can also spike as well named Clint Hazard. so let's go ahead and move on to the last one all right, looks like for our last match, we have Krom, another sword character. And it isn't going to be an undefeated run, unfortunately, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can finish this off just like so. So that's his up tilt, good for starting combos. We want to charge up that limit. We want to get as any powerful hits off as we can, especially with Krom being able to be edge guarded really easily. It's going to be huge. Get that nice nair in the down tilt, a nice dash attack. Dash attack will be able to kill it later for sense. We get a nice dash attack right here. We can go up and dash check him right again for the kill. 132, so we gotta be careful as we gotta be careful of that limit charge. Alright, nice jab. Alright, also limit does charge him. Get a nice uh cross slide, so let's go for the up he spike. Ooh, unfortunately, I think that went a lot better in my head. I was trying to spike him with that, but he did get me first with his up B. Ooh, gotta be careful that F smash. We do get limit though, so we'll be able to make it back with that super power climb hazard. He does make it back though, but that back here, I haven't been using it enough, and it's a really, really good move. Forcing a lot of situations, just opting for that jab in this case. Still living at 129. Gotta be careful about limit though, so he does actually get a buff on his limit after charging. And of course, you can get that with, um, Attacking as well as it buffs a little, but you have to get rid of it quick. It has a time limit on how long it can be used. So, as we're on the air last stock, gotta be sure your crumb doesn't get too much going off of him. All right, nice forward air. All right, go charge that limit. All right, nice that we are able to sneak in that back air. A lucky trade, not going to lie, as we live at 82% and make it a lot closer than I had previously anticipated. Well, it looks like Cloud was able to break past his limits today and get himself a nice Elite Smash victory as Cloud was, again, pretty easy to play. Nothing too hard about him. The only hard part about it, actually, was his Klim Hazard recovery as we were unfortunately gimped about twice. But other than that, if you get that limits charge, 
Clem Hazard will go much higher, his uh, specials will be much stronger, and honestly, Cloud is a pretty interesting character to play if you remove that small issue with his recovery with Limit. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and give a finishing touch to that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.